Okay, hi there. So, um, I guess we'll start reviewing for our exam. Uh, the first thing we should probably do is review calculus, since that's the first thing that you just finished. Um, so when we first started calculus, um, the key idea of calculus was to find derivatives of various functions, and we started by doing first principles. Now, first principles, if you can remember, says that if we have a function f of x, its derivative f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h. Okay? So, for example, if we have the function f of x is equal to 4 minus root of x plus 3, the derivative f prime of x would be equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h would be 4 minus root of x plus h plus 3. Right, f of x plus h basically means we input x plus h for x. And then it would be minus just regular f of x. So that would be 4 minus the root of just x plus 3, all being divided by h. Okay? Now, if you want, you can stop this video and then just try to finish off this problem and see if you can get the actual um, function yourself. But uh, I'll continue to try to solve it as we go along here. So the next thing we try to do would be to simplify this expression. So the first thing that we probably do is distribute the negative sign to everything behind this bracket. All right, so if we do that, it would still be the limit as h approaches 0 of 4 minus the root of x plus h, still plus 3, then minus 4, then minus a minus becomes plus the root of x plus 3, all being divided by h. Now in terms of simplifying, the first thing that's obvious is that this 4 and this minus 4 would subtract each other out, so the, that's gone, and that's gone, leaving us with minus root x plus h plus 3, plus root x plus 3. Now I'm just going to rewrite this in, in a different order, putting the positive one first, the minus second. All right, you'll see why in a bit. So if we did that, we end up with limit as h approaches 0 of the root of x plus 3 minus the root of x plus h plus 3 all being divided by h. Now at this point, if we substituted in h is equal to 0, we'd end up with x plus 3, because this h would be 0, so it would be root of x plus 3 minus root of x plus 3, which would be 0 over 0. Okay, so you'd get that 0 over 0 problem, which is indeterminate. Okay, so indeterminate would basically mean that we'd have to do some more work with this expression algebraically so that the h cancels out on the bottom because the h, the zero here is caused by h on the bottom and the, the h on the top, if we expand and simplify, would um, be, there'd be a zero on top as well. So we'd have to factor out h somehow. So since we have radicals, um, the best way to sort of work with this expression is to multiply both top and bottom by its conjugate. All right, so if you want, you can do that. Multiply both top and bottom by its conjugate, all right, which would be root of x plus 3 plus, change that to a plus, that root. But remember, you have to do both the top and the bottom. Okay, so... Uh, you should probably try to do that, and uh, I will continue solving this problem in a little bit. 